Woo. What a view. Beautiful late autumn day here in Canterbury. We are bringing these ewes down. So these are all the early ewes. Uh, they're going to come down and get scanned tomorrow. And then they're due to get trucked to the lease block Wednesday. They'll go and crop down there. Yeah, we're 60 days, uh, 60 days from lambing, pretty much. It will take 10 days. But they're looking good. Nothing like a bit of hill fitness. So this is the block that uh, we did the fence down there. Taranaki gate fence in the last video. So this is um, <laughs> this is the block that we are, that we are uh, planting into trees. So. So right at the top of this paddock, we find this wee guy. He was left at home, but decided to uh, join us. So home is way down the bottom there, Hi. and amongst the trees. <laughs> but he's keen, aren't you, sheepdog? <laughs> Four or five ewes in that paddock there that we've got to get. None over here, which is good. Uh, cuz red, red, cuz red. Good boy. Wanna go, Kaz? Wanna go, Kaz? Uh, who we got here? Oh, yeah, you three buggers. Snowy, come! Not helpful. Oh my God, Jasper! Oh my God, Jasper! Oh my God! Good boy. I can't believe that little dog. He was tied up. He's already been for a few decent walks today. Exciting. Might make a bit more sense now why the dogs have to have a really, really loud bark. Half a dozen. Down the other side of the fence line. There's one up above the sob side there too, up on that hill. Oh. Down girls. <laughs> Buzzy whistle, what was that? Walk. 
but it means stop for him and walk for him. That's good because I don't want yeah. feeding dogs doing his of those jobs. Yeah, no, it's good. Interesting. We might be using yours just down here that we can't see, but well, one's coming in from the from the left. Right, I think we've found our few rat bags here. Down below us here somewhere, hopefully. Where'd they go, boys? Can you see these ones below me? Can you see these ones below me? Oh, it's alright, I've got them. Or over there. Now radios come in handy, especially when you've got someone else, a bit of a spotter. For these tricky paddocks. Cuz, blue. Here we are, we've got them all mobbed back up again. And Jenna was saying there's a couple way down the gully, down the bottom there. So we'll get these girls running down the fence line and then we might have to shoot down out to the left and grab those other ones. So I've got three ewes down here. One jumped over the fence of the next paddock. So I've got Cuz Red over on this other side of the gully, just over there. He's going to wander around and chase them down the fence line, hopefully. Red! He's a bit unsure because he can't see them. He'll get onto them soon enough. Red! <coughs> Go boy, it'll do! Right, we're getting there. Slowly getting them uh, closer to the yards. Yeah, it's good to have Jenna on the other end of the radio and be able to put her in spots where I can't see. So that's handy. Come on, girls, see out of the creek. Sit, cars. Sit, cars. Snowy, behave. Hello, good morning. Lovely frosty morning. Beautiful here, sun's out. So we're just splitting these ewes up. We've got 650 ewes in this mob to scan this morning. Daniel's coming, so these are, I've mucked up, there's a couple with red marks in here, but these are first cycle ewes, these are second cycle ewes, and these are some skinnies uh, that need a bit of preferential feeding. So we've got, uh, we've got about half an hour before Daniel's here, so we'll get the rest of these drafted up and uh, make it easier for him. So Daniel's here, we've got this trailer all set up. How is the trailer going? Very good. Yeah, really pleased with it. Oh good. It so certainly makes setup quicker and less physical. Most, most of the time. Yeah. No, very good. So you might have heard Daniel on Cammy's Feed for Farmers podcast. And what you've got your own YouTube channel now as well. No. I you don't. I've been recording footage but I haven't done anything you've been with recording. it. Did I see it? You, you had a, a couple of videos up on Facebook or something, was it? Right, only ones I've done with my phone on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 About uh, some of your stud sheet you got. Yeah. 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 Oh, very good. 
So how far into the season are you at the moment? Uh, two weeks. Oh yeah. Done 20,000 odd. All right. So I've done a lot more now than we would normally done by now. Yes. Is there, are people just mating them earlier? No, just, just trying on? to get them scanned earlier. Onto it earlier. And, and I'm trying to get in earlier because, as well, just to give people options as soon as they can. Yep. Yeah. So instead of scanning around that 90 day mark, we're trying to get into 80 days. Yep. Yeah. So we, we've crowned all these, uh, so second cycle, or second uh, 15 days, last 15 days. Um, and then they're all split up to two lines. But when we do the hill ones, we might look at doing fetal aging, fetal aging for yep. the last 15 days or so. Yeah. Just give us some options, poke them further out the back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a good option, that is. Yep. Yeah. So, almost as good as ram harnesses. Well, uh, yeah, it's a couple of, saves yeah. a couple of trips through the yards no, anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. So I finished scanning, uh, I just got to shift these u lambs across the road, they're done in this paddock, uh, they're heading up onto the hill, so we'll get them across, got cars at the back, got our signs, flashing lights and everything else. Coming from the gorge. Roger. Blue! Just coming across now. Sit. Sit. Cuz. 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 Follow go, cuz. Good boy. Follow go. Sit. Sit. Read. 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 Good boy, sit, 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 cuz. Right. right across. Perfect. So easy, thank you. Bright lady. Okay. Right, I said bright lady. We're going to uh, let these girls out. Got to go in front and set some gates up, and they can just wander up to the airstrip. I'll just open this, and they'll come back. Red, boy. 
So we've got these girls across the road. We'll just poke them up, uh, heading towards the strip uh, in the hill house. We're gonna start running around some hill country. So scanning results, uh, 146% for those early ewes. Um, yeah, a bit disappointing, but I think it's, uh, they're coming up seven years old, some of those, so they're, they're getting old. Um, yeah, so I think, uh, just, well, it's, it's just a result of us not mating hoggets and holding on to more of them, so we kind of knew the risk for a lot of that. So, um, yeah, not ideal, but we have a plan going forward, you know, with these guys, these hoggets, as they come through onto Tudus, you know, we we should be uh, pretty good, should turn out to be pretty good sheep. So, um, bit of a bugger, but hey, we're here and we continue and move on. So, um, right, I'll leave this video here. Still got to feed some balers to the hill ewes. They've still got the ram out at the moment. Just want to keep them fully fed, not push them. Uh, keep wandering these guys up. Jim has left me behind. And uh, yeah, another frost tonight. We'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.